there are a number of ways people can report things to police. Um, firstly, it's in person at a police station. There are any number of 24-hour police stations um, where you can walk up to the counter, speak to the member there and explain the situ situation and a report will be taken, be it crime or incident. Um, we do a, uh, for an incident, we would do an information report which would feed information to the wider organisation and therefore the, the people that are in charge of that area. They can go to any police station, I'll emphasise, it doesn't have to be the police station where the incident occurred. So if something happens to somebody in the city, or in Carlton, or wherever, and they live in St Kilda, or eastern suburbs somewhere, they can report at any police station, because that crime or investigation will then be allocated to the police in the area, who should be in touch with the person making the report, and keep them updated. The other um, ways that you can report um, are through uh, what we call our um, police assistance line. Now the police assistance line and the online reporting which are linked um, take predominantly uh, crimes against property. So in terms of prejudice motivated crime we're thinking along the lines of graffiti attacks, uh, property damage where you know broken windows, uh, any number of uh, types of offences like that where there may be an element of prejudice motivated crime. So windows smashed at a synagogue for example, um, the, you know, the clear inference is that there's some sort of prejudicial aspect to that um, being a, a place of worship. The police assistance line can be run by any person and the person at the other end of the line will then be able to provide the correct advice about where that should be reported. So in terms of crimes against the person, we don't take reports over the phone because we need to collect statements, we may need to collect physical evidence from that person. It's very important that we do face-to-face -face, um, reporting for crimes against the person such as assaults. Um, or robberies in the street, things like that. Um, calling Triple O, obviously, if there is a person feeling unsafe, you want police to attend, Triple um, O is about getting police to come and see you. So it doesn't, there's a bit of a, a, a fallacy around that it has to be an emergency, and people then run through the what's an emergency. I don't think it's an emergency. If you feel unsafe and you would like police to attend, or you have something that you need to talk to police about that can't be resolved over the phone, call Triple O, and that's how a, a police unit is dispatched to that place where you are.